Hey guys, today we're going over tuning basics and how to tune your print to get the perfect part every single time. So the next thing we're gonna look at is temperatures. Now, this is gonna change obviously based on your material. Nylon melts a little bit hotter than PLA down here at 210 Celsius. But you'll notice every spool actually has a range of temperatures. It'll say something like 190 Celsius to 215 Celsius. Well, where do you start? The reason they put a range of temperatures is because every piece of hardware is different. On an E3D V6, you have a certain size heat block with a certain distance between the thermocouple and the heater cartridge and the tip of the nozzle. On another machine, it's gonna be different. A thermocouple reading the same temperature on these two machines might result in a different temperature at the nozzle. So there is a range and you're gonna to have to tune based on your hardware. So 210 degrees Celsius for someone else might be too hot for you or it might not be hot enough. This is why the tuning process is so important. You need to find out what's right for your hardware. So a general rule of thumb is start somewhere in the middle. Uh, if you're printing too cold, you'll know it pretty quickly because you won't be extruding enough material. You get little blobs or just won't extrude at all. And you'll know, oh, my nozzle's not hot enough. It's not extruding material. Let me turn it up and then you should get a nice flow. And then from there, you may have enough flow, but if it's too cool, your layers might not adhere. So you wanna print a small part, make sure you got the right temperatures by breaking it and seeing if it's a solid part or if you have a whole bunch of little strings of plastic that aren't really connected together. And if your nozzle's too high, you'll actually, it just, it'll be too liquidy. It'll come out and it'll be melted and it won't really look clean and even. Uh, and it'll eventually just start turning into a big melted blob. If you're getting drooping and it's just not looking crisp and clean, generally it's gonna be a little bit too high. Whether you've got a $300 printer or a $30,000 printer, it's always gonna come down to the material and the tuning process. Thanks for watching. We're gonna be releasing a lot more tips, tutorials, and guides on how to print these high performance thermoplastics. So hit subscribe, stay tuned, and we'll see you on the next video.